touch on what's known as the dark time of the year. Pretty much with the, the Gentile, the European Gentile, especially with the Celtics and the, the Gauls, the French and uh, those that dwelt in the British Isles and so on and so forth, right? The so-called English man, you know what I'm saying? Those particular uh, sect of Gentiles, they divided, and you can find this amongst pretty much all the Europeans, but they divided the year into two sections. One section was the light, and the other section was the dark time, so. And its ancient origins go back to the old Celtic calendar, and the old Celtic tribes divided the year between a light half and a dark half. Light time of the year begins around when spring is coming around, all right, and because that time of the year is when it's, the light is starting to increase, the physical light is starting to increase, and it becomes longer in the night time. Um, and then the dark times of the year begin around after the, the autumn, the equinox. Y'all familiar with the autumn equinox, right? This is the time of the year. There's four. You have two solstices and then you have two equinoxes. Are y'all familiar with those? Okay, the solstice, the summer solstice is the point where the daylight has increased way beyond the nighttime. All right, so this is where you have the, the most amount of light. You have about close to, at its peak, about 17 hours of, of sunlight and about seven hours of nighttime. All right, so the, 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 the opposite of that is the winter solstice where you have that, that amount of dark versus the night. So this is why the days are much shorter than the nighttime during the, the solstice. The two equinoxes are the equal points. So the spring equinox, is, when it comes, is when day and night are equal. And then after that, light starts to increase, 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 so it gets to the longest point. The fall equinox is the point, the equal point but the light starts to decrease and darkness becomes longer and longer and longer, okay, till you reach the solstice. All right, so those are the four main days. And you can read about this in the book of Enoch. But what the, the pagans did, they divided this time up to deal with their, their so-called ape Sabbaths, okay, their worships of Satan, all right? And also, you know what I'm saying, they have, they have attached to a different spiritual connotations. So the dark time of the year, all right, this is why so-called October 31st is their New Year. All right, this is the celebration of so-called Halloween, Samhain, Samhain, how they pronounce it, it's because they're ushering in that worship of the dark time of the year. But they believe that the spiritual energy at this time is at a peak to, for them to look into the darkness that's inside of their souls, so on and so forth. And they actually speak about these things. All right, so uh, get me 2 Corinthians chapter two. All right, but basically they just show you, man, like, <laughs> Now, these Gentiles is out of their mind and they have been worshiping Satan from the gate. So when the Most High chose our people, he, he knew what he was doing. He needed to have a representation on this earth because the majority of all the other nations are worshiping Hashatan. All right. So read that. Second Corinthians chapter two, verse 11. Second Corinthians chapter two, verse 11. Less Hashetan should get an advantage of us. Less what? Less Hashetan should get an advantage of us. All right, so we know Hashetan is seeking daily to get an advantage of you. All right, this is what he's he's striving to do regularly. We have to keep that in mind that we are up against a formidable spiritual foe that every day is trying to devour your soul. So he wants an advantage. He wants to see where your weak point is, what tactics will work against you, so on and so forth. All right, and he knows that for Bob's being in captivity. He knows that we dealing with, with you know, it's, it's people around us right now in this neighborhood that are practicing witches that you don't even know about. That they calling on how say time doing all type of rituals. You know what I'm saying? Probably see you, probably trying to cast spells against you and all that. If it wasn't for the most high, you wouldn't have that protection. You know what I'm saying? So, like you said, most how say time is trying to get that advantage, right? But what, Reed? For we are not ignorant of his devices. So we can't be ignorant of Hasatan's devices, his tactics, his tech, you know what I'm saying, his technology, things that he uses against us. We can't be ignorant of that. Because the minute you 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 go into that ignorance, what will happen? He'll get that advantage of you, right? You know what I'm saying? So we have to understand how he maneuvers. All right, so this is titled, let me see. This is titled Embracing the Dark Half of the Year. Now, when you want to learn anything about the paganism that's going on around you, it's good to go to a lot of our people that have put out articles and things of this nature. That's good, because a lot of times they're going to do like what we do. They're going to give you scripture to go along with. But to be honest with you, the best thing to do is go to them to see what they believe. You understand what I'm saying? And let them tell you out of their own mouth. 
You understand? So when you run into these pagans or what have you, you can say, well, look, you believe X, Y, and Z. Let me show you why it's wrong, all right? So this is why I, pull, I like to pull certain documents of their own words, right? So read the highlighted sections beginning um, right here. I am sure most heathens of all denominations are dismayed by the fact that Black Friday has evolved, has evolved into a holiday in, uh, a holiday in its own right. All right, so stop right here. So this particular heathen right here, this pagan right here, the, the founder of their so-called sect had died. But one thing that he taught them was we can't get caught up in the consumerism of our pagan holidays. So for example, uh, you know, Halloween, right? Halloween is one of the biggest grossing holidays, second only to Christmas. So that because they're so entrenched in their beliefs, they like, man, forget, you know, this consumer. We want to deal with the real spirit of what it is, right? So they even calling out like, you know, Black Friday that turns into a holiday in itself. You know what I'm saying? And they, they denounce that because it's a Black Friday is about what? What is Black Friday? It's the time of the year after so-called Thanksgiving when you get mega sales, right? You go, you go get your, your early Christmas shopping and all that. That's what it's about, yeah. right? But they're denouncing that because they like, we got to get back to our original pagan roots, you know what I'm saying? So read what you got. Oh, uh, we, all of our fellow heathens. All of our fellow what? <laughs> all of our fellow heathens. Right. Have the power not to allow ourselves to miss the treasure of life that occur in dark half of the year Sorry, but the dark, they say we don't want to miss the, the opportunity to cash in on the treasures of the dark time of the year all right so because they, they understand there's some spiritual energy that goes on deep behind the scenes during this time of the year read on Embr embracing the dark half of the year so embracing the dark time of the year so one thing that i have noticed over the year being in the truth all right the closer you get to your howl and, and keeping his commandments and really doing this thing for real. Our Satan is going to rev it up at this time of the year. So you're going to see a lot of spiritual attacks come your way. All right, read on. It is brought home to me this time of year a feeling and state of mind that only comes with the darkening of our world upon the entering of the dark half of the year. You see that? So they worship you. I remember the pagans worship creation, they worship the light, the dark. You know the animals, trees, so on and so forth. Really, it, all in a really hot time. This is what they really worship, but they worship the different points of creation. So they pay attention to these things. And again, during this time is when they are doing a lot of demonic activity around the scene. So we have to be, you know, wise to that. All right, read on. As Germanic lore passed down to us through. Ali relinquishes her hold on the year wheel and turns it over to Wooden and upon the doorstep. Oh, of so stop right there. So now they calling on what? Wodan. They call it Wodan, which Wodan. is Woden, all right, Wodan. which is the so-called Wednesday is named after. All right, so they they showing you that you know the 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 female deity or whatever they call a Holly or whatever is passing on this particular wheel because they call these Celtics they deal with what's called an eight oh eight wheel of the year. You know what I'm saying? The eight different Shabbats is what their their year goes around. You understand what I'm saying? And so called Halloween kicks it off. This is one of the highest points of their worship. This is why a lot of madness goes on. We're gonna look, take a look at. It. All right, so they, they uh, but again, it says Holly passes on to who? Woden, right? Woden. So they show you that they don't worship the Most High. They worship in all these pagan deities. And we know from scripture, who is behind those pagan deities? Uh, Satan and all the fall. You understand? When they came on the scenes, when you read about the fallen angels coming down and dealing with the women, they presented themselves as if they were what? The gods. So this is why the people worship all these different deities. You understand what I'm saying? So behind the scenes, they really worship the Hasatan and the, the wicked, right? We don't. The doorstep of Halloween, we recognize the death of the spiritual year and the birth of a certain darkness. Notice that. So they said they witnessed the what? The death of the spiritual, the aspect of the spiritual of the year, right? Mm -hmm. What is that? What does that represent? Because see, you remember the Most High does everything in symbolics. You understand this is why he compares us to, you know, bearing fruit and we're children of the light and so on and so forth, right? You read about these things, but these people say what? They they don't want to deal with the spiritual aspect, which is the light. They want to deal with what? Read that portion again. The birth of a certain darkness. A certain darkness, you understand? And they putting that energy out here. This is, again, why you're going to run into these different things during this time of the year. The spiritual attacks of the enemy are hot 
So, like, if you notice, you go look, look, look up suicide rates and see how when people really start killing themselves majorly, right? Look these things up. It's around this time of the year where it, it, it peaks. Why? Because those spirits are moving and they, they seeking to do what? Destroy. Remember how Satan come to do what? Kill, kill steal, kill. and destroy. Uh -huh. And during this time of the year, when those, those, of those worshipers of his are giving him this energy, this is what he's doing. All right, read on. Of both the physical world and the spiritual world. You see that? So we got to be aware of that. All right, so I just wanted to touch on that so you can recognize, you know what I'm saying, that this time of the year, be vigilant. You want to be vigilant at all times. You know what I'm saying? Because the enemy is definitely trying to attack us at all times. But this time of the year, by him getting, everything is about energy. So when they giving him that praise and that honor and doing all these different rituals, you know what I'm saying, he get, he get a little geeked. And he sent out more, you know, he dispatching more, you know what I'm saying, of his, his troops to come in and attack the righteous. So we got to be mindful of that. All right. You, you want to touch on that? Yeah, man. Um, with, with being mindful of the attacks of our shaitan, man, we have to realize that uh, our shaitan trained his minions to present him themselves as uh, beings of light. God. You know what I'm saying? So we, we, we must... We must not ever forget that they train themselves to to present themselves as your friends first. 